Thanks for staying with us here on the show. And of course, we go straight to our sports story. Now, the Ghana Football Association has ruled in favor of Black Stars coach CK Akona in relation to a legal dispute between him and Asante Kotoko. Now, after an abrupt end to his tenure as head coach of the club, the coach held the club before the GFA Player Status Committee for a breach of contract. So, what's the background to all of this? Here's a report from the Joy Sports Desk. If you recall, after the CAF Confederation Cup campaign two seasons ago, the club, in the attempt to bring in Yetzel Zakariasen as CK to assume the role of a technical director, he declined and in the process left the club just nine months in his three-year contract. He then dragged the Porcupine Warriors to the GFA Player Status Committee, demanding salary for two years, league trophy cash, and CAF Confederation's Cup group stage entitlements. Subsequently, the Status Committee found Kotoko guilty of wrongful contract termination. Kotoko appealed and paid the communique from the GFA yesterday. They have lost that appeal and must now pay CK Akono for wrongfully terminating his contract. Well, let's do some boxing now. And captain of the National Amateur Boxing Team, Suleiman Tete, has urged government to support boxers who are yet to secure qualification to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Now, Suleiman Tete has already booked a ticket to the multi-sport event and wants government to cooperate to support boxers who are yet to qualify. Now, we have a second chance for the Olympics game and for the, uh, some of our, our team who have not been qualified. And what I want the ministries and the corporate body to do is I want them to support them because I know that they can make it. Once they are get to the quarter uh, semi finals and they cannot make it, if they go to the France, I know that they can make it because the France, all the people who are coming there, it's not like they're strong. They are not strong like the people who came to the uh, Senegal. So if, I want them to, I mean, their support, every, even everyone, every company who can support them so that they can go. Even if they go, we can get maybe two or three of them can qualify. So this is what I want them to do, the ministry to support them to go and qualify. Now, finally, Barcelona's UEFA Champions League game against Napoli on March 18 will be played behind closed doors because of coronavirus concerns. Joe Sports' Asari Bediako has more in the following report.